The Nintendo Switch now has Game Boy Advance games added to their Nintendo Switch online service. I grew up on the Advance. No joke, guys. That and the N64 and later on the GameCube. But the Game Boy Advance, it was, in fact, my first Nintendo console and this is a near and dear console to me and I am so happy to actually see that the current generation, the generation of kids right now are able to enjoy what I enjoyed. <laughs> the Nintendo Switch Online also has NES and SNES classics and also Game Boy Classic games now added. That is also new. But I mean this console is so good. It was so good. Back in the day this was the ultimate Game Boy that if you you had this one you were the cool kid all of the games that are currently dropped out to the catalog i've played them all before i have them all and i've played them all now let's start off with a game that is very dear to me and i'm so happy that people are now gonna be able to play this because how would they otherwise really this is such a gem on the game boy advance mario and luigi superstar saga you know what i won this copy that i'm holding in my hands right now in a drawing contest in norway nintendo's drawing contest apparently they thought i was good this game i 100 percented it and i replayed it a ton of times on my game boy advance and it it is such a game. Now it is a Mario game, not really in the Mushroom Kingdom, but in Bean Bean Kingdom. And it is an RPG game. You level up and every time you level up, you get bonus stats that you put into the stat and stuff. And now this time around on the Switch, you have save states. I always create now a save state when I have leveled up and making sure that I get three extra points at least. You can possibly also get four, but you know it's a big game it's a lot of game in this game a lot of funny moments the humor is so good and i feel like in the mario and luigi rpg series there are several games in this series and it's about time that we remaster or remake this series also along with uh, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door needs a remake just about now. But Mario in the RPG genre, excellent. Excellent, good stuff. This is one of the good moments from Mario RPG games. Superstar Saga, so good, so fun to see that again. And also in the settings of the GBA games on your Switch, you can put your settings to reproduce classic feel. Looks so good on my Switch OLED, so good. And I am in Game Boy Advance heaven right now. On the modern con- you know, this is difficult for me to wrap my head around because I have so many emotions attached to this console, consoler. And I'm just so happy to see this happening. This is great big news to me. Now let's talk about the next game. The Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap. Guys, that is also just such a... <sighs> Nowadays, you could call this an underrated Zelda game. Nobody really talks about it because it had its moment to shine way back. It's an old game. I mean, these games are what? 20 years old? A lot of you guys are not even 20. Kidding. <laughs> It's just so wonderful. Now, in Minish Cap, it's a Zelda game. It is top-down, 2D, and it's pixel perfect with the reproduced the classic feel. And you play as Link, saving Zelda, all of that. And you have the dungeons and the overworld. And you know what? <laughs> Cutting grass never gets old in a Zelda game, especially not this one. And you get a lot of fun upgrades in Minish Cap, like claws that you can dig through dirt and stuff. And you have this hat. Um, Let's see if I remember what the hat was called. I don't remember. And you have this hat, the hat talks to you, and it can shrink you down to minish size. So fun. And a lot of puzzles are around this sort of, I don't know, gimmick of the game. And now you guys have the opportunity to play this classic. Such a classic Zelda classic game. Highly recommend that too. Now also we have Mario Kart Super Circuit. I didn't get this game as a kid, but I'm shameful to say actually that I, when I was 12 years old, mind you, and the internet was not the place that it is right now, I played it on an emulator. 
I am not into emulators now, not at all. I mean, as long as Nintendo pumps out these games available for us, there's no need, you know? And right now you have these games added to your Switch if you have that online thing, Switch online service. But Mario Kart Super Circuit, that was kinda ahead of its time. And let me just remind you guys, back in the days, this was a handheld system that could play games just as powerful as the Super Nintendo. In a lot of ways, actually, this was my Super Nintendo because I played a lot of Super Nintendo classic games, for my first time anyway, on the Game Boy Advance, just like this game and this game. Originally Super Nintendo games. I had my big first huge experience on this one on the Game Boy Advance. I hope they release these versions of, you know, you can find these games, Super Mario World and Zelda Link to the Past, in the Super Nintendo app on the Switch. But these versions are a tiny bit different. It's sort of the same thing that is happening now, actually, when I think about it. They are releasing something, again, for the coming generation. That is what happened with me. I didn't grow up with the Super Nintendo, but I grew up with this one, with the same games, so I didn't miss out on the classics. It's happening all over again, I'm loving it. So they also have Super Mario Bros. 3. And you guys, this is my favorite version of Super Mario Bros. 3. The GBA version looks so good, so crisp. I am absolutely picky with my 2D platformers. This one nails it for me. This is 2D platformer heaven. This is perfection. This is a perfect Mario 2D side-scrolling game. It is now on my Switch. And with that reproduced classic feel, you gotta just do that. <laughs> Try that for yourself. And if you are playing a lot in handheld anyways, it makes so much sense. Also, funny to see that they added WarioWare Inc. Mega Micro Games micro games. Now that is a Wario game with a lot of mini games and before you think well what's up with that? They are fun and there are a ton of them. There's so many mini games and you get one second to think and then you have to do the mini game. It's like push, pull, levitate, leviosa still playing Harry Potter. So many fun mini games and you can perfect your time and do top scores within. I did this a ton when I was 13, 14. I don't know how old I was, but I was a kid for a long time. If you know what I mean, I was a slow, <laughs> slow grower. So that is also fun. Highly recommend you guys tell I'm gonna enjoy that so much. I'm gonna play that again. I've already played all of these games so much, but right now it's just my nostalgia cauldron. Now lastly, I remember vaguely the release. And I think this game, this title, was a release title for the, you know, next two on the shelf. I think so, if I remember correctly. And that is Kuru Kuru Kururin. Terrible. The worst title of a video game. Except for that, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? That is also a terrible name. But this game is actually sort of smart and difficult and tricky because it's, I don't want to say a puzzle game, but it is a precision game. Sort of tactical game also, never mind. You are controlling the stick and the stick is always spinning, but you are controlling the direction of the stick where it is actually going. And you have to go through these labyrinths and not touch the walls. You can also bounce the stick to rotate the other way around so that it makes more sense while you are maneuvering these puzzles. It's a clever game. Now, these are the first games that are dropped to the Switch with the GBA app. But I am so looking forward to see what else they will be bringing. And I saw that Golden Sun is coming. That is such a game also. What about this one? One of my favorites. There's so many games that you could potentially put on. I would like to see this one, which is a remake of Super Mario Bros. 2, but I like the graphics that they did in this version of the game, you know. Love the GBA. I'm just loving and I'm so... I'm just loving. I am just so happy to see that this happened to, to us. <laughs> it happened to us, basically. I mean, you also have the Game Boy Classic game, so that is a separate app. It already has now the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, DX on it. And most fun enough, and I thought to myself, this is convenient for me. They have also dropped Super Mario Land 2 onto this thing. And funny story, it's not more than like a month ago, I was thinking to myself, what a wonderful world. <laughs> 
no. I was thinking to myself, I want to replay Super Mario Land 2. So, you know, I was figuring out, should I just, you know, do it the old way? But now, perfect opportunity. Because that is such a cozy game. Super Mario Land 2, I mean. I, I love it. Love it. I am having a happy moment. What are you guys having? A happy moment. What do you guys want to see being added to the GBA system on the Switch? Um, I think I've said it like 10 times this video. <laughs> I'm just so happy. Leave your comments down below what you would like to see being added. Hit like on the video even if you are on TV because a like will help me out and I also hope you guys want to watch my previous videos. Maybe you missed a few, maybe you missed out on, I don't know, my last one. Now thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Good stuff, good stuff.